what you've seen so far in America, who do you think would be best for 2024? I guess because I'm a foreigner, I, I wouldn't really vote for Trump because he is like against foreigners being in, in America. Or against foreigners being in America? No, <laughs> no. For Joe Biden or Donald Trump? Probably Joe Biden. Say tomorrow you had a vote and you had the option between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Who would you be voting for? Um... Today we are at UCLA and we're gonna be asking college students who they're gonna be voting for it's in the upcoming good, election between Joe Biden, be Donald Trump. As you can see, UCLA. I'm pretty sure most college students are gonna say they're voting for Joe Biden. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with him in my, well, <laughs> I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole. But I'm pretty sure like 90% are gonna say Joe Biden. But let's see what happens, let's see what happens. It has the number one because they apparently think they are number one in everything they do and this has been a very controversial school. And now we are going to start asking students who they're going to be voting for in 2024. Yeah. Say you had a vote tomorrow, who would you be voting for? Uh, probably Biden, but I'm not very happy with that vote. <laughs> what do you guys think about like the current state of America, where we're heading as a country? <laughs> I don't think we want to talk about politics or anything. Would you say UCLA is more of a left-leaning school, like most kids are leaning towards the left? Yeah, I would say so. I feel like California like as a whole is like that. Who will you guys be supporting when it comes to the elections in 2024? <laughs> I'm definitely not right. I'm definitely not supporting Trump. With uh, what you've seen so far in America, who do you think would be best for 2024? I guess because I'm a foreigner, I, I wouldn't really vote for Trump because he is like against foreigners being in, in America. or if Against foreigners being in America? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. He's against people illegally entering America. And this is not even from, I'm not even, this is just from me having common sense. When Donald Trump was in office, illegal immigration plummeted. And this is not necessarily against foreigners coming into the country. There's legal immigration process, which is why it's called legal immigration. But why wouldn't a leader of a country not be against people illegally getting into the country? Like, isn't that just common sense, regardless of if you're left or right? Wouldn't you want a president who is against people breaking the law? <sighs> Immigrants in total. And who do you guys think will be best to resolve the conflicts that we're currently facing? Good question. If I'll be honest, I don't even know, man. I haven't even kept up with politics just because I'm caught up with my work. But uh, whoever the best candidate is out there, I'm sure, like, we'll put our heads together and vote for that. But I really don't even know who's running. And what about you, man? If you had to make the decision today, Today you gotta make a decision, Donald Trump or Joe Biden, who, are you, who will you be voting for? <laughs> I probably would still abstain if I had to choose because as somebody who's not that informed on either or, I think they both are trash and they're kind of old. <laughs> and who will be best with the elections coming up in 2024 to resolve all the conflicts and to make this country uh, an even better place? Well, see, with voting right now, this isn't a matter of voting and politics. This is a matter of freedoms right now with democracy. Donald Trump said he would be a dictator on day one he would get in office. He admires people like Hitler and Putin and the Kim Jong-un. He wants to be a dictator, he wants to rule. If you value democracy and your freedoms and your rights to pursue what you want and say what you want, I suggest you vote for Biden whether you like him or not. Uh, what he said is very interesting because he's saying that Donald Trump will be a dictator and if you value your freedoms and if you value democracy, then you should vote for Biden, which and this is not even against President Biden. This is just what I've noticed in society. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments. But it's funny that he's saying this because in the past four years, I would argue that freedom of speech has been at its lowest, meaning that you are more likely now in the past four years to get flagged for saying something that goes against the status quo. You are more likely to get canceled. It's literally the term cancel culture came into place in the past four years where people literally get canceled based off of disagreements politically and socially. So it's just funny how he says that having Donald Trump in office will lead to less freedoms when a freedom is speech and that has been less in the past four years. And it's funny that people say Trump is a dictator and that Trump will not allow people to have rights. But I would also argue when Donald Trump was president from the years of 2016 to 2020, that was probably the freest the country has been. And when I say freest, 
I mean, people were literally allowed to say anything they wanted without actually facing repercussions because that's a freedom of speech. People were literally allowed to say how they felt during those four years. In the in the in the in the latter of those four years, 2020 to 2024, were probably the strictest in terms of what you can say. And this is just my personal thoughts. Let me know if I'm wrong or right. But let's continue the video. Because Trump is going to be a dictator. How can you support those claims that Trump wanted to be a dictator? Uh, there's articles about it, many articles, credible articles. He said it, it's recorded, there's footage of it. It ain't no AI footage or nothing. He said it. Mm -hmm. It's all over the web. You could access it. Okay. From credible sources. Credible sources. And uh, what do you think about like inflation, the migrant crisis, and stuff like that that's also happening here inside the country? It's getting bad. It's hard, it's hard to live out here right now. These corporations are making 75% profit right now. So they need to be regulated. That's the main issue right now. I would say that's the main problem. And why do you think the majority of college students in the country are for Joe Biden currently? Because of his student debt relief he has been providing. He has provided billions of debt relief for students across the country. Of course, you have to qualify. And I don't know the qualifications to do that. But he has provided that ability and choice to do that. Okay, this is from APnews.com. Trump says of Hannity, he says, you're not going to be a dictator, are you? No, no, no. Other than day one, we're closing the border and we're drilling, drilling, drilling. After that, I'm not a dictator. So this is, I'm, this is not me making this stuff. I don't make just, I don't just make stuff up in my videos. Donald Trump literally said he will not be a dictator. For his presidency. He literally said that. This is not my opinion. This is what he said. He said he will be a dictator on day one, which I think is symbolism for he will change a lot of things if he were to become president on day one. He will forcefully change a lot of things. I think when you say he said he would be a dictator, you're purposefully misinterpreting what he's saying. But, you know, people do what they want to do anyways. I just think that's a... That's a very unfair way to interpret what Donald Trump is, what he actually said. But let's continue. Which so, students are thankful for, I believe. So do you think with Joe Biden doing that with the student debt, it's making more people want to vote for him, especially college students? Especially. Loans are unforgiving with interest rates, and it's hard to pay them off for many people. Many people don't have the opportunity to do so, because we're not all given the same opportunity as others. And Biden is given the opportunity to relieve that debt which I admire. And do you think uh, that is like one way that Joe Biden will be able to gain more votes from college students, obviously, with that debt relief? Oh, man, definitely. I irrefutably. I talked to some people here, and they said that they'll be voting for Joe Biden because of this. He said he's not given the same opportunity, but you... I never understood that. Because when it comes to debt for a student, you literally understand what you're getting into when you're 18. And I get it. You're young. I'm, I'm young. Look at me. I'm in college still. <laughs> but the thing is, when it comes to debt, you know what you're getting into. The thing is, is a lot of students just don't care. They want to go where they want to go. You wanted to go to UCLA. You didn't care that it cost $50,000 a year. You didn't care how much your job paid after you graduated. You wanted to go to UCLA. And I'm not judging you for it. That's what you wanted to do. You wanted the beautiful California weather, the big campus with 100,000 people on it. That's what you wanted. You didn't care about the price tag when you signed those papers. You're still there, so you still don't care. But trying to say you don't get the same opportunity is just a lie. That's just a flat-out lie that you tell yourself to make yourself feel better for making a poor financial decision. You could have went somewhere way cheaper. There are thousands of colleges in America. You're telling me you were forced to go to one of the literal most expensive colleges in the country. Somebody forced you to do that. The student loan uh, forgiveness. forgiveness that he's going to be offering. Do you think that's a way that he's going to be able to win votes from the college students? I think so, yeah. What do you think about the current state of America? The current state of America? <laughs> like in general? Um, I think there's definitely things that we can work on, for sure, always. Um, do I think it's the best country to live in at the moment? Probably not. We're going to be having elections in 20... I wonder what would be a better country in your opinion? And this is a real question. 2024, and this is like a big year where a lot of people like you and other college students' voices are really made heard. Mm -hmm. And who do you think would be best to run the country uh, in this upcoming year? I don't think either of them are great candidates. <laughs> I won't 
fly. Yeah. Um, but sometimes you just gotta pick the lesser of the evils. Mm -hmm. We hear a lot of the lesser of the two evils. And what makes both candidates uh, per like se bad. evil? Um, I just think there's just they don't represent the majority of the population. I think it like boils down to that. Okay. Yeah. And say tomorrow you had a vote and you had the option between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Who would you be voting for? Um. And another thing, the young man said that it would be a dictatorship under Donald Trump. A lot of students, this is proof, a lot of students are scared to say they will vote for Donald Trump. They are scared because they know you will get ostracized if you say something like that. Whether or not um, you really believe it or if you just, yeah, whether or not you believe it or don't, you will get ostracized. You can agree with that. If I was to vote for Biden or Trump, I'm not saying I'm voting for either or or what I'm voting for or who I'm voting for, but we all know. If someone says they're voting for Donald Trump, they have a way higher likelihood of getting ostracized by society. And the crazy thing is, Trump supporters never ostracize people who say they're voting for Biden. They'll say, oh, why are you voting for him? Oh, that's cool, whatever. They don't care. But a lot of people who support the other side hate people who vote for Donald Trump. Um, I think maybe Biden, yeah, if I had to choose. And what is the absolute truth right now? Absolute truth. Well, I'm a Christian, so the Bible. Mm -hmm. And do you think that the Ameri do you think America is currently following the teachings of Jesus Christ and what is taught in the Bible? Nah, man. What reason do you have for that? If everybody was Christian, we'd see signs of the Holy Spirit in everybody, but we see like record high levels of depression and anxiety, right? Uh, but uh, I know the Christian doesn't isn't always joyful and all these good things, but. Uh, I don't know. I mean, that's one of the signs. Okay, I, I really like that. I'm also a Christian myself. And this year we're going to have elections in 2024. And who do you think will be the mm. best presidential candidate to lead the country in these upcoming years? Who are the candidates? I don't really follow politics. I've talked to a lot of students here at, at this school here at UCLA, and the majority of them say they're going to be voting for Joe Biden. We haven't heard one person say they're going to vote for Donald Trump. Mm. What would make you, what would it take for Donald Trump to win your vote? Probably if he, like, showed some fruit of the Holy Spirit. Do you think Joe Biden shows fruit of the Holy Spirit? Hmm. I think he's gentle. What advice would you give to one of them? You know what? My shirt says, I love Jesus, if you don't know. So, obviously, you know my religion. Christianity, if you don't know. To say that Joe Biden, President Biden, shows fruits of the Holy Spirit because he's gentle. But then also state that the country that he's leading right now has no signs of the Holy Spirit. It's a little contra it's it's a contradiction. It, it doesn't even make sense to me, but you know what? <laughs> Whatever, let's continue. Um, to win the votes of the students here. Oh wow. <laughs> Listen to the people, take this seriously. These generations are not taking kindly to things like what's happening in Gaza and they're very serious about making their voices heard. So if you want to seriously be the candidate, take it seriously, listen to the people, pay attention to what's happening here. And uh, who will you be voting for in 2024? Um, honestly, I'm undecided. I'm not sure yet. I probably Joe Biden because I just I can't support Trump. But yeah, it's definitely a lesser of two evil kind of situations, if I'm honest. But yeah. Okay, we've heard a lot of that claim, the lesser of two evils, <laughs> and uh, what would make each candidate evil? Um, well, Trump, I think the reasons are pretty obvious. He's There's a lot of hatred that's coming back to the surface, and I think he kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? He thrives in that space. She doesn't know, and let's be honest, most people don't know why they don't support Donald Trump. This is not saying that you should blindly support Donald Trump. Hear what I'm saying. Majority of people do not know why they don't support Donald Trump. They just know that they're supposed to not support him. When people hear this, they're going to say, oh, you support. No, I'm saying if you want to support a president or you think someone is evil, that's a strong claim. He's evil. If someone is evil, you should be able to objectively say why they're evil. Or even if it's your opinion, give a reason why you think someone is evil evil 
if you hate something, I can tell you why I would hate something. It, it's in the back of my I, I would know instantly. I could be like, oh, yeah, I hate this because of this, this, and this. When it comes to Trump, they make very harsh claims about him. They say he's evil. They say he's wrong. They say this. They say that. But why? Why? People know why they... Well, people don't know why they like Biden. They just know that they want to vote for him. So that's not a good, that's not even a good claim. But all I'm saying is a political candidate is not your family member. It's not a sports team. This is something that matters and that will determine the fate of a country. So you shouldn't blindly follow anyone. I don't care if they're leftist, right. I don't care. Know who, why you're voting for someone. Please be, be educated about this. And kind of almost encourages it. And Biden, I just... I don't know. I just I, I don't know if he's necessarily evil. He just hasn't done enough. He's just not effective enough from what I've seen. Okay. And so, do you think we'd be safer underneath Donald Trump or Joe Biden with the, what's going on with like the wars and all that stuff? Honestly, I would still say safer under Biden, just because at least he's not inciting hate the way that Trump is. Trump is just very dangerous. Okay. Some people may say he's not inciting hate, but he is paying for it with the U.S. tax dollars going to Israel, Ukraine, stuff like that. Do you think it's right that we are funding these other wars across the world? No, no, I don't. Sadly, I don't think he's going to do anything about stopping that anytime soon, but no, I don't think it's right. And who are you voting? Okay, so I'm going to end this video here. Um, shout out to the students for answering the questions, honestly. I would just say look into both of these candidates more because it does matter. Don't blindly follow anyone. That's how they manipulate and trick you. Don't blindly follow anyone. But anyways, it's Alifar Jackson.